What's up guys? It has been quite a while and I'm pretty sorry about that, but um things got crazy and um things got weird. But uh here we are back with reading your comments. Yay! I don't remember the last time I did reading your comments. I think I was like, I don't know. My shirt up my shirt's on backwards. That's a great start. Uh, I believe the last time I did reading the comments was I don't know, a month or two or three ago. I don't remember. I think it was maybe two months. And I think that was part four, and this is part five. You have fabulous hair, Mr. Man. Also, I am now Praganance. How did you know? Hey Omar, serious question. Do you have anything that you're insecure about? I've got something. So, I suck. I suck, I suck, I suck, I suck at making eye contact. Now, it's different with, like, me and a camera. And even with the camera, I'll look side to side here and there. I don't know, that might just be a habit. But even just ask Janae. Like, if, like, if you would ask Janae, Janae knows. Because especially with her, I can't, I can't keep eye contact with people. I'm very, very bad at it, and I think that's from, like, that's a leftover thing from when I was, uh, really shy, and, uh, you know, like, antisocial, so about 8th grade, and you, you're probably looking at my eye contact now and notice that I'm looking all over the place, but, I'm, and I'm really trying to keep, <laughs> look at the camera, but, um, it's leftover from when I was, like, super you know, a mess. And I don't know why, I just can't do it. It makes me panic. Uh, I don't know if that's like an anxiety thing. I don't know what it is. I don't know why I can't do it. I don't know why it bugs me out and freaks me out so much that I'm looking at a person's eye. I think, actually, that's not entirely true. I think what it is is that I think the other person is trying to figure me out. And not that I don't want to be figured out, but it just makes me panic. I don't know. It's, uh, it's probably one of my biggest insecurities. Um, you know, it, I feel bad about it, too, because I know some people really hate that, you know, especially in our culture, you know, it's like an American thing. Keep eye contact with people, and I can't do it to save my life. Not everybody notices, but, uh, when people notice, it's, it's pretty obvious, so. It's a little trivia. On a scale of one to zero, how good are your editing? I, I don't think I understand the scale. Um, I don't know what's, I'm, I, one, I guess, if one is the highest. So, if anything, I would say zero point, zero point six, five. Yeah. Zero point six, five. What is your favorite movie? Do you have Snapchat? If so, you should link it in the description because that's the only social media that I have. Okay. Uh, favorite movie. Um, I'm not really much of a movie person, but I'm sure I have a favorite movie and I've thought to myself that I have a favorite movie. Off the top of my head, I'd say Wally, -E, because Wally's -E adorable. But I know I do have a favorite movie that I decided on, I just can't think of it right now. Um, Wally's -E adorable, I think it's the best movie, like one of the best movies I think I've ever seen. But, I know, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I love Chitty Chitty Bang Bang so much because I again it's just adorable and it's it's a it's like a it's like a, a sing along thing. There's a word for it, a musical. I wouldn't call it a musical. I don't know because they sing, and I think the plot is cool. I love old motor cars. For those of you who don't know what Chitty Chitty Bang Bang is, uh, here's your homework. Go watch Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. It's a very very old movie. It's from when Dick Van Dyke was still young, like, not young, but, like, middle-aged. He's old now, but, you know. And as for Snapchat, see, the thing about Snapchat is that, you know, it's, it's you know, easy access for people to act stupid. Um, and, you know, that whole controversy with, you know, uh, Markiplier and the uh, girl who kept sending him topless pictures. And not that I think that'll happen to me. But I think it's a it's an avenue for a, a messy time. <laughs> but um, you know what? 
Where's my phone? I'm willing to give it a shot. I'll I'll I'll, I'll make one right in front of you. I'll make a, a YouTube Snapchat. I'm not giving you my personal Snapchat, but I'll make a YouTube Snapchat. Not that I think anybody will really uh, use it, but it's worth a shot. You know, I'm I'm open to new things. So let's see. All right, here we are. Mr. Giraffe, Pro Giraffe. Search Pro Giraffe. I'll even put. Where is it? Is that option? Snave, save, snap code. I'll put the snap code on screen. You guys are on. Let's see. Let's see how this turns out. Like I said, Pro Dash Giraffe. I'll put it. I'll even. I'll tweet it. I'll tweet it. I'll tweet it. You guys are on. You're on. Tweet. Doing. Reading your comments. Heard you guys wanted me to make a Snapchat for you. Add me. Whoops. Add me at Pro Giraffe. Bam! Tweeted. If you want to snap me, I'll snap you right back. Fist bump. Peace. Yeah! Will you ever play one of these games? Dead Space 1, Dead Space 2, Dead Space 3, Dust Rising 1, 2, or 3. Um, I don't know. I'd, I'd like to, but I don't know how I would... I guess I'd just, just look up Dead Space, but uh, I just haven't gotten around to it because I'm already doing like a multi-part series. So maybe after I finish off Crash to Insanity, I'll, I'll look into Dead Space because obviously Dead Space is Dead Space and Dead Space is awesome! How did you come up with your YouTube name? Well, I've told the story a few times, but um, I'll, I'll go through the entire rigmarole. Um, the first name I was supposed to have for my YouTube channel way, way back, even before Markiplier, I think, maybe, um, was uh, Radical One. Radical One is a reference to me for madness. And um, that's the name of my deviant art, which I'll link in the description. Uh, uh, be warned, some that art isn't as good as my current art. That art is old, and I have not touched my deviant art in years. Literally, like four, five, maybe even six years. Four. I think four years. Four years. Um, so yeah, that's what my deviant art was under, and that's what all my aliases for everything were under. And then I grew out of that. I started thinking it was lame, and uh, then Mighty Eight came along. Um, Mighty Eight is also all of my names are references to Need for Madness. Mighty Eight came along, which is you know, it's an Audi R8, and um, it's it's just I thought it was cool, and I was just like, well, I like this car, and I like this name, bam. And that was originally supposed to be the name of this channel, but I didn't want my my Xbox name and my channel name to be different. And that's when I didn't know you could change your Xbox name. So, yeah. And then I landed on High Rider 121. And, you know, that worked for this far. Um, and I was just like, eventually I was just like, you know, I'm growing out of this. It doesn't represent me as well as Mighty 8 does. And I just, you know, like I said, it just it represents me a little bit better. And the reason why Mighty 8 represents me better is that um, my favorite number is 88. You know, Mighty 8. And uh, if if you add 8 and 8, um, you get my mother's birthday, which is 8, 816. Uh, so my, my mother's birthday is 8 days after mine. So, you know, 8 and 8, 16, you get my mother. So, 8. I love 8, 80, 88 specifically, but 8, 8 will suffice. And even, even since I was little, I just had this weird fascination with 8s. Uh, which is, I guess, fitting, considering the channel you're watching right now. Mark has a tiny box, Tim. Uh, you need a short draft, Steve. I don't know. Actually, for those of you on my Discord know, somebody, oh, I don't remember who it was. Maybe it was Max. I think it was Max. Somebody asked me to name their giraffe. And, um... I said Gerald. Because Gerald the giraffe. And then we decided from that point... I didn't... I didn't... I meant to... Did I tweet that? I don't remember. But, um... I said that the official mascot 
M mascot. Mascot. This guy. His name is Ger G Pfft. Gerald. His name is Gerald. Gerald the giraffe. So this fourth, it is canon to this channel that this is Gerald and he is the mascot. It's canon. It's canon. Pew pew. pew. Canon. Gerald the giraffe. I love animals, OMG. At one point, I had four cats, a snake, a bunch of mice because we originally had three and one and three and one had oh three and one had babies i was like three and one and babies i wanted more though because i just love animals so much i am too an animal lover i can't decide whether i like cats or dogs more though because at first i was just like i didn't really care too much for dogs and then i i just puppies 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 i want a puppy so badly i still want a cat but i think I think I want a puppy more. I want a puppy so badly. Specifically, a Shiba Inu, a Corgi, a Samoid, or a Golden Retriever. Or all four. Or all four. Man, I cannot speak today. All four of those dogs. Shiba Inu, Corgi, Samoid, or Golden. And cats, you know, I can have whatever cat. You know, it's a cat. But, um, I had a snake, we had fish, we had hamsters, we had, we had all, all types of life in, you know, my dad's apartment. So. How do you stay motivated to do videos? I struggle with depression, and it takes a toll on my channel. How do I stay motivated? Hmm. That's a tough question. Now, speaking of motivation, it's funny. I've recorded, this is my third video I've recorded today. Um, I recorded Welcome to the Game, I recorded Nighttime Visitor, and I'm recording this. This is an example of me getting motivated. Now, how I stay motivated uh, predominantly is I watch YouTubers. You know, I see them and I'm like, I want to do that. So, really, what really got me going was um, Crank Gameplays. You know, uh, you know, Markiplier's editor. And I was just like, you know, you know, if he can do it, why can't I? And not to say that I haven't done something already, but, you know, it just, it keeps me motivated to see what they're doing. It keeps me motivated to do more. You know, I just, I just went through all, because I don't watch this channel that much. You know, I, I pop in here and there, and I see what he's doing. And I was just like, I can do that. And here I am doing it. I was like, he can do it, I can do it. Same thing with Markiplier. But the only reason why, you know, it hit me more is because, um, you know, it's just, I don't watch Ethan that much. And I'm just like, I can do that. You know, but I, I, you know, I've got that power. I can do that too. But on the other hand, it's you guys. You guys motivate me to the end of the earth. You know, not everybody has a, you know, a group of, you know, a following. So how i would advise and listen i know psh, not even i wouldn't even really say i know depression depression is a ridiculous factor and a ridiculous just just it just it weighs down so much on people and i can only imagine how difficult that must be and i'm really sorry about that and that's why i'm here to help and i'm assuming that's why you're asking me this so i would just say watch your favorite youtubers they will give you ideas. I'm not saying copy them. Maybe if you want to, you could. But what do you see other people doing? You get inspired. So that and just whatever whatever you're passionate about. Use that. Use that fire. Use that passion. And put it out and share it. That is... That's another motivator for me. Just doing what I want to do. So hopefully that answers your question. I had to finish this on my freaking camera because my disc filled up. So, uh, we're doing this old school style. We're doing this straight off the camera, but the show must go on. I, I got, I was like on the last few comments, and I think this may be the last comment. I, I'm pretty sure. Is this, is this the last comment? Yep. That, that, this is the last comment. I, d my, just, ah, uh, just, uh. Okay. Well, show must go on. In the reading your comments video number three, when you first mentioned a fan art competition, I immediately got started on a fan, a, on fan art, on a fan art, and finished it later that day. I've had the art lying around for a few weeks now and I have no idea what to do with it. You can still send it to me. 
it's not I always take fan art at all times if you really want to send me fan art do not be afraid I'm not gonna get mad at you please you know it, it always makes me feel really nice it warms my heart so please 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 do don't don't think just because there's no fan art competition that you can't send it send it to any of my social media it's all good well that was reading your comments five I think I don't know I've lost count um sorry that I had there was just a jump in quality like that but um you know as long as you guys keep the comments rolling I'll keep making these and I'm sorry that it took such a huge you know break in between I I I, I, I just I fell off the, the boat with reading your comments and other things came into play so you know like I said as long as you keep you know, leave in comments, I'll keep doing it. And like, if you, if you wanna, if you want me to stop, we'll stop, so. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for participating. Huge hashtag Ask Omar to get my attention faster. Uh, on my Twitter, my Tumblr, my everything, all of my social media, even on my Discord, all of my social media is in the description below. So, thank you. Make sure to add my snap if you want to. Again, uh, Pro Dash Giraffe. Oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pull it up. Gotta, 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 gotta. Mr. Giraffe. I really don't know if you can see that because I can't see the screen anymore, but Mr. Giraffe. It's Pro Dash Giraffe if you want to add it. Like I said, I'll put it on screen again. So thank you so much for watching. Happy snapping. And as always, peace out, y'all.